Welcome to Salt Lake City, where the mighty Utah student section is ready to turn this place into a cauldron of noise. Rice Eccles Stadium, home to the Utah Utes. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Old Dominion Monarchs taking on the 12th ranked team in the land, the Utah Utes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. The Monarchs will kick it off to get us underway. Fielded in the end zone, it's Stanley. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16th. So the Utah Utes offense will have the first possession of the game. And there he is, a man who makes an entire stadium hold its breath every time he touches the ball, Jesse. This defense better have a lot of breath in this game, too, because he gets better as the game goes on. He's the kind of guy, David, who can wear a defense down. And he is the primary focus. That's what this defense is focused and keyed in on. we got to stop him if we're going to have success today. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. The give to the tailback. The Utes have a first down. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. They'll put it in play from the 27. First down. They move the tight end all over. Takes the handoff. It's Bernard. He'll push his way out to the 30, a pickup of three. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Didn't get much done on that run. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. Man, oh man, that ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front too, right? They got to move those defensive linemen out of the way. At least create a hole so your running back has a chance. Not there, he didn't have any. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. Gets behind those pads, picks up four on the play, but it's still a fourth down and three. And the Utes will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He'll call for the fair catch here. So Old Dominion's offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. They'll run the toss. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. Yeah, this offense is going to try to run the ball and do it in a variety of ways. You'll see zone reads. You'll just see straight downhill running. We'll get the toss play going as well to try to keep this defense on their heels. And the Monarchs want to move quickly. The option look. And maybe a wise move not to even try the pitch as he's knocked down in the backfield. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. This is a designed run. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. You know, we talk about quarterbacks having to make quick decisions, and I think you saw it on that play. Nobody opened downfield, and he just decided to take off. The Monarchs will line it up on first and 10.
He'll try the toss to the left. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to go toss to get to the perimeter, but how about the DBs beating their blocks and using their speed to get upfield and create the negative play? Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Leaves it with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Yeah, and when you get penetration by that defense right away, and there's no way to cut at all for that back, he gets destroyed right away. No way that play was going to be successful. Way too much penetration. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Wilson will throw. He tries to take the top off. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Monarchs. Hold it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. And a really nice job by the quarterback. He drops back. He knows where he's going with the football. You can tell. He, he sees this guy coming from left to right, running that post down the middle of the field, throws it. Perfect timing to his receiver. He catches the football, takes it into the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they close it in style with a 72-yard pass to the house. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. Leaves it with the back. Fakes his man out. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. To the air, it's rising. It's complete to the right. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. I just love quarterbacks that aren't greedy and that aren't always trying to throw the home run ball, right? Second down, you're in your own end of the field. The guy you want to throw to is not open. Just find the back. He'll go do something positive with it. This guy is a weapon, and you got to find him in the passing game. They'll put the tight end in motion. Using his legs, it's Bernard. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Now on second down. Guys, Old Dominion has the lead here as we've reached the end of the quarter. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. They'll go to the ground. Drag down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. The Utes are rolling down the field. They'll try the run. And the 45. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. 
First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. And the Utes with the first and ten. Single back formation, and they give it to him. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the scoreboard. Yeah, it's that bend-don't-break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. This running back loves running into the teeth of the defense. In between the tackles, he keeps a low pad level, and he's got some speed. Ball spotted at the 27. It's first and 10. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll leave it with him. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Now, that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Now the play fake. And they get the sack right out of the gate. This defense has the ability to get pressure on the QB from the edge. And I don't necessarily mean from defensive ends, but from the outside linebackers. These guys get in their sprinter stances, and they come off the ball. That outside linebacker showed you his speed right there. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. Looking to pass. It's rising. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. And you usually don't bring in dime packages for running teams. You bring in dime because you know they're going to throw the football. You got more speed on the back end to cover, and defensive linemen know they have their job to do. And their job is to go get that quarterback and get that sucker on the ground. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. He says he's got a big leg. He's going to have to show it from 56 yards out. What a disappointment. No good. After that miss, still a seven-point game, guys. ODU ready to send the offense back onto the field. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. And the Monarchs are in the hurry up. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job by that defender. I mean, he timed that snap count perfectly, got into the backfield, and created the negative play. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. It's a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tackle a little something extra on their lead before the break. A third and long coming up here. Wilson to pass. Bought a little time, lets it go. He makes the connection. We've got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. 
You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. Whoop de doo. You've set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Makes the catch. It's Pittman. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And that's a situation right there where the quarterback is just taking what the defense gives him. The defense has taken everything away down the field. Just take the easy throw underneath. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. And he got a hand in there. Knocks it away incomplete. Great job on the back end in coverage. DB staying in the hip pocket of the target and was able to swat that ball away. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll try to get it through the air. Makes the grab over the middle. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. They'll throw it on first down. And that ball is picked off. He would have loved to make the big return there, but he still gives his team the ball at the 37. And defensive backs, you think, don't have good hands. The big fella shows it. How about that defensive back going up and getting the interception? Nice job breaking on the football. You say that's why you play defense, because you don't have hands? Yeah, I beg the difference. Old Dominion has the ball back. The Monarchs will send the offense onto the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind. Snags it on the right. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. Well, it didn't take long for this guy to leave his impact in the game, guys. With that catch, this guy's already over 100 yards in the game, and we're not even done the first half. The offense will stop the clock and use one of its timeouts. First and 10, they're down to the 25. Wilson will throw. He's got it down the middle. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. All right, defense, it ain't working. Right? They're stringing together several first downs here. We're going to need to change this up, find something we can disrupt the quarterback and, and mess up this offense a little bit. The Monarchs trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. He's looking to throw. Going for six. He makes the catch at the end zone. Touchdown, Old Dominion. The great thing about spreading a defense out, I can see where the blitz is coming from. I can see where they're weak. I can see my matchups. Nice job by the offense. Spreading them out, taking advantage of their matchup, and getting in for the score. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there getting set. And here's the return. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Utah has it back, and the offense coming onto the field. 
After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw it this drive. Back to pass. It's rising. Incomplete. He had to get rid of it before he wanted to. The defense put the heat on. He's being a little reckless with that football. Threw the interception last time and almost threw another one here. Golly, that's best back-to-back drives. you got to have your quarterback making smart decisions. You can't turn the football over. He's got to get those cobwebs out of his head, start dialing it in. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Finds his man down the middle. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Comes out throwing on first down. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. That's a good decision by the quarterback. I know that's not going to come up on the stat sheet, but you're in the pocket. Nobody's open. Don't risk turning it over. Just throw it away. Just enough time for one final play of the half. On second down, he'll let it fly. A shot toward the end zone. And the throw downfield winds up incomplete, and there's a good reason for that. This guy was being mugged by the defender. The offense gets a fresh set of downs after the P.I. We'll see if the defense can regroup and put together a stop. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, a delightful first two quarters today from there in Salt Lake City. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Rice Eccles Stadium. The Utes will kick it away to start the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. ODU ready to send the offense back onto the field. Going to the run to start this second half. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. And the Monarchs will hustle to the line. Right back to him on the ground. Works his way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. Third and 10, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. Wilson to pass. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. At the 35, he's loose. He gets it past the first down marker, and a really nice job to set up that screen and move the sticks. 
and they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position, and the running back sold it too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers in green field out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass, make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. Got three on first down at second and seven. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Stop just across the 50 at the 49-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football. You're ahead. You can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. Off the play fake on first down. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes in offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers. But man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. having to deal with the last thing you want on first down, giving up a sack as they come up to the line on second down. They'll run it from the gun. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. The Monarchs racing to the line in the hurry up. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Got his man! He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate and use different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. You can tell in this game, this offensive coordinator, he has put in the work this week. Wilson will throw. Got his man on the right. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. The crowd getting behind this defense as they try to get a stop in the red zone. On second down, looking again to throw. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Third down, and this crowd is tearing the lid off this place. Quarterback on the keeper. Can't get him to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. An option football is about responsibility, but I can't give up my hand. I can't show him really quickly and make it easy on him. Good job by the defense staying patient, defending all the options, stringing it out, making a nice play. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. From the left hash, he'll try to bend in a 37-yarder. It's good. And that will extend their lead even further.
Toronto after the made field goal. They'll kick it away and rely on their defense. He'll bring it out. It's Stanley. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. One of the most difficult things about this slot receiver is his shiftiness and his athleticism. He's very, very difficult to tackle after the catch. Let's see what they've got on second down. An unforced error there. They don't get the snap off in time. That is a completely avoidable penalty. The quarterback just went into brain lock and lost track of the play clock. Looking for space. It's Bernard. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. Back to throw. It's rising. He lobs one high down the left side. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Hand goes into the air for the fair catch, and the catch is made around the 40. Old Dominion has the ball back. The Monarchs will send the offense onto the field. Out of the gun, the give to the back. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. And the Monarchs headed quickly to the line. He's going to pass on second down. And there was no for this quarterback and down he goes this offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy he is an absolute monster and he showed you all his tools on that sack as they get set to snap it just about to reach the end of the quarter On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. Complete, out of the backfield, looking for the sticks. And he never had a chance. As soon as he caught it, the defense was right there. Guys, Old Dominion has the lead here as we've reached the end of the quarter. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. The Monarchs will call on their punt team. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. On the return, it's Pittman. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Utah has it back, and the offense coming onto the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Back to pass. It's rising. Fires to the right. Almost had the pick there. Would have been his second of the game. Instead, it brings up third down. And that's why these guys played defense. If that were an offensive player or receiver, that would have easily have been a catch. Come on, man. You've got to catch that and make that a pick. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. 
And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Well, it's fourth and short, and you're sort of in no man's land at this point near midfield. I think if you're on offense here, you're going to have to go for it. You're going to have to show confidence in your guys to get it done and go get you the win. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. And he keeps it himself. A good decision there, and it gives this offense a first down. There was no reason to hesitate on the sideline there. Just keep the offense out and go for it. Dude, fourth and inches. If I can't get inches, I deserve to lose football games. So I'm going for it on fourth and inches every single time. And the youth have it with a first and ten. He'll pull it on the read. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Yeah, and a great job by the defense, holding the line of scrimmage, playing downhill, playing responsibility football, making sure they shut down that option play. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. He just got rid of that one to save the down, didn't see anything he liked. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Yeah, and third and long, everybody is pinning their ears back and coming after the quarterback. You try to throw the screens behind those. Sometimes they're very successful, but this time, defense played it great, and the play went nowhere. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. He is stopped short, and they'll turn it over on downs. Just a crushing blow at this point in the game. The give on the inside. Still running at the 40. And he's brought down after a nice game. And that is just an attitude run, running it right up the middle, right into the teeth of that defense. And the Monarchs want to pick up the tempo. They'll give it to him again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the job by this defense today? They knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense, stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Handoff, keep working on that clock. Tackle is made at the 30-yard line after he picked up four. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30, it would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. Wilson to pass. Trying to get to him. Going to try to get it himself. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush. And you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield. But he sees an opening. And if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. The Monarchs have this offense rolling. He'll do it himself. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. When 
you're a defensive guy and you want to fire in, you want to go hit the quarterback, but you know if I fire in, he's just going to give the football up. You got to be patient. You got to understand what your responsibility is. Then you see when he keeps the football, you got to go tag him. But the problem is these guys are such good athletes. They're so hard to catch once they do pull the football. But it's kind of like the hidden hat trick. You know, where's the ball? It's underneath this one. No, I picked this one up. No, it's gone. It's underneath this one. Nope, there it is. It's gone. Movement here from the tight end. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. No reason to do anything here except keep it on the ground on second and five. Looking for room. It's Young. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. They'll go right back to him. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. He got it. And that lead grows even bigger. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. The deficit is large. Hope is fainting, but they'll try to finish strong. They made a lot of mistakes in this game, and that's why it looks like they're going to take the L. Lots of things to improve on, lots of things to coach upon, and at this point, I think if you're a head coach, David, you're just trying to see which of your guys aren't quitting late in the game. Yeah, which is a real thing, by the way. Uh, who's going to compete to the final whistle? Who, what do we talk about all the time? The coaches are always preaching to these guys, don't worry about the scoreboard. Just compete as hard as you can. So good opportunity to try to finish this game with something positive. Dumps it to the back. Grab near the sticks. It's Bernard. And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. I like the running back there on the route and the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender. He was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. Looking to throw. It's rising. Throws to the tight end. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. This defense has just been all over this guy all game long, under pressure. They're finding a way to get to him and affect his rhythm. Of course, they have an interception in this game. That's why they've got a big lead here in the fourth quarter. This guy has never gotten into a rhythm. Wonder if they'll throw it again after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 49. From the comfort of the pocket, he fires it to the right. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And Jesse, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but you might as well start with a chunk play. Well, you got to start somewhere, Reese. It's been tough going for this offense all game long. They find themselves in a hole, but I love the aggressive nature. Keep taking shots. Keep trying to claw your way back into this one. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. Fires into the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. 
Well, we know down here when you're throwing into the end zone, the windows are so, so small. Ball gets tipped like that. There are a lot of defenders lurking around. QB's lucky that one wasn't picked. They were really starting to put a drive together, but after a couple of incompletions, now they need a big play on third and ten. Looking for the score! And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. The number one objective for a defense is to make the offense one-dimensional. Well, when they're trailing by this much late in the game, they're one-dimensional. They have to pass the football. We can bring more speed on the field. You see it. We know you're throwing the football. Nice break on the football. Nice interception. This one's almost over. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. Quarterback will take a knee. The defense can stop it one more time, but we are close to being all she wrote. 